we're up on um, the the hillside or the mountain side of Rough Hollow and I just kind of wanted to give viewers a look that's the direction we came from into Rough Hollow um, to get out it's about five miles that way and then and I hope the sun glare isn't too bad but Rough Hollow just keeps going and going and going um, about a mile or two that way is where Jen picked up her uh, game cam we left hers the furthest in of the bedding spot hopefully we have something good on it we've uh, seen a lot of black bear activity up here today a lot of tracks and black bear scat and then uh, um, as far as bigfoot activity um, we've uh, found uh, a few uh, 12 inch footprints <clears throat> um, and then uh, we've had uh, several uh, really loud wood knocks and then um, I'm gonna pan to the direction that we found it um, down inside of this new canyon we're up on the wall of it back behind uh, Jenny that way is uh, where we found uh, a structure we finally found a structure in rough hollow I've been wondering where they're at if indeed they marked their territories with these uh, structures and with all the activity um, that we've seen as far as uh, footprints and snap-offs I keep saying to myself where are the structures well this side canyon that we discovered last week we finally found a structure I filmed it for you guys and um, I post everything in the order that I film them in so um, that structure will be put up before this is um, it was great finding the structure I knew we would find one in here because um, they're pretty indicative of uh, Bigfoot activity and over the past month we've found several 19 inch several 17 inch 14 inch and 12 inch footprints it's been pretty quiet today a few loud wood knocks um, we haven't been finding the 18 to two dozen footprints that we found uh, up here a couple of weeks ago that kind of spoiled us you know I go out now hoping to get that type of activity and disappointed when I don't but um, the truth of the matter is, is usually when you go big footing you find uh, little to zero that's my past experience so we've had a great couple of months finding a lot of footprints hearing and seeing a lot of activity and uh, we really want to get a class A sighting so does everybody else um, we're going to keep looking around Rough Hollow um, Brody's heading up a little bit higher than uh, where we're at right now he's trying to find more activity or structures um, we're pretty close to where we found some uh, 12 inch footprints I'm pointing in the direction we found them just probably not even 50 yards that direction we found some 12 inch footprints and uh, it looked like they were overturning some rocks so looking for something under rocks some yummies goodies whatever's under there all right well as soon as Brody's done uh, hiking up to the top I'll point the camera in the direction that he went he's back up in there somewhere oh I think I can see him he's got the parabolic mic and he's up there looking around all right well we see anything else of interest I just kind of wanted to give you guys a bird's eye view of uh, what rough hollow looks like we're usually uh, right down by the creek and everything but um, we've worked into a side canyon and then we're up on the hillside looking around for activity uh, Brody's pretty adamant about uh, finding where they're at because we didn't see much activity down inside the canyon just a few 12 inch footprints so um, we're looking it is September 28th, 2013, Rough Hollow.